Landlords, 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 and in particular, self-managing landlords. Do you know about the How to Rent Guide? Is it a case of I've heard of it, I'm not quite sure what I'm meant to do with it, who I give it to and when I give it to them? But if this is the sorts of questions you're asking, you need to be watching this short video to make sure you're doing things right as a landlord. Because when it comes to an end of a tenancy or later on down in a tenancy, this could be something that trips you up significantly. And if you haven't already, do please click on the subscribe button to watch Homemaker Properties channel and all the education that we're giving for absolutely free at the moment. In addition to that, click on the bell as well to make sure you're notified of any new content. So the How to Rent Guide. This was actually created during the Deregulation Act, which was carried out back in 2015. Gosh, eight years ago now. And there've actually been multiple copies of this How to Rent Guide. It's regularly updated, and it's just been updated in March 2023. So this How to Rent Guide, you think to yourself, well, what is this guide and who do I need to give it to and when do I need to give it to them? So this is a document that should be given to tenants prior to their tenancy starting. So ideally, even before they've paid any money, you should be providing to your tenants a copy of the How to Rent Guide. In addition to that, with their tenancy move-in paperwork, give them another copy as well. And what I will say to you, make sure you've got an audit trail to prove that you have given this document to your tenants. So there's no way of them saying they haven't received it at the start of their tenancy. What I will say to you is, as far as, for example, if you're having to evict a tenant at any point and you're going to court obviously you have different pieces of documentation you have to give your tenants but now it is obligatory that you've got proof that you provided the how to rent guide to your tenants for any tenancies that have happened since 2015 or been renewed since 2015 so any new tenancy and any renewal you must provide a copy of the how to rent guide to your tenants and have an audit trail to prove that you've done that. So whether that be a signature on a hard copy or electronic signature or whatever it may well be, just make sure you've got that back up there. So you then think, well, what is this how to rent guide? Why is it so important for the tenants? Well, I'm sure you'll agree for many, many years, uh, gosh, you know, you think about that 20 odd years as buy to let has grown and exploded like it has, um, people would just sign a buy to let contract in some cases and they wouldn't really know you know, what their obligations were, what the landlord's obligations were. They just thought, oh, well, that says what rent I've got to pay and that's how often I need to pay it. Well, this how to rent guide goes through a whole array of information that you need to be aware of. For example, what happens at the start of a tenancy, during the tenancy, as far as what the obligations are of the landlord, what your obligations are as a tenant, for example. In addition to that, the contract, the documentation that you should be receiving. And then what potentially could happen at the end of the tenancy, for example, a renewal, or whether it be come the end of the tenancy, you've given notice. All of these different bits of information that you need to know and you need to be aware of as a tenant, these are all in this how to rent guide, which the government have created. So emphasis to you here, please make sure that you are providing the how to rent guide for your tenants before the tenancy starts and you've got an audit trail for this. I do sincerely hope this has been of some help to you and please make sure you apply this if you haven't already given the how to rent guide to your tenants, provide it to them now. Even if they've already moved in, make sure you've done it. And as I said, you've got an audit trail of doing that.